I'm Dr. Pasha from the Pasha Snoring and Sinus Center, and today we're going to talk about cauterization for nosebleeds or epistaxis. For those of you who have a recurrent nosebleed, specifically people who have bleeding from the very front of their nose, there's a very simple technique called office cauterization or nasal cauterization. What's nice about this procedure, it's done in the office, it's very, very quick, it's very easy, it's highly tolerated, you don't have to take time off work or school, and it's highly effective. So we're gonna walk you through the different steps of nasal cauterization. The first thing we're gonna do is, since she is bleeding from the right side of the nose, is that we're gonna spray the nose to numb it up and also to decongest. This is done very easily. It's just a couple of squirts and that's it. So after we spray her nose, the second step is to place a piece of cotton in that has numbing medication. This is 99% of the numbing has occurred with this topical numbing medication. So to do that, I'm just going to place this piece of cotton, since the bleeding's right in the front, right in the front, we're just going to lay it in there and have her sit for about 20 minutes. After she's all numbed up, the next thing to do is to go ahead and take a look and find out exactly where she's bleeding from. So we're going to use a small scope, this is, this is painless, you can barely feel it as you go inside the nose. So we're going to be looking right here. And as you can see, in the very front, she's already have her bleeding points. This is right here, the most common point where they bleed, which is called Kesselbox plexus, which is an area where there's a lot of vessels. So this is the area that we need to cauterize. Now that we identified where the bleeding source is, we're gonna go ahead and seal those vessels using electrocautery. So this is called uh, electrocautery. It's got a little suction, and at the very tip, it, it, it produces a little bit of electricity that seals the vessels. So we'll go ahead and place this easily in the nose. As you can see here in the very front, this is where she's actively bleeding. We're gonna go ahead and cauterize those sites just by applying just a little bit of pressure and just a little bit of, of, of electricity and cauterization to seal those active points. As you can notice here, all throughout her front part of her septum, that's the wall that divides the left and right side of the nose, she does have quite a number of vessels here. So. It's not gonna be just one bleeding point, so we're gonna make sure that we get all the active sites and control the bleeding. What's nice, since she's actively bleeding, it's, it's much more easier to find out where the points are that she's bleeding from. So here's just a few more points there. As you can still see, there's still some vessels even outside this area, and I'm gonna show you a different technique in order to address that. And just a few more points right here, almost done. Now that we've controlled the act of bleeding, we're gonna go ahead and utilize a different technique in order to cauterize. This is a technique using silver nitrate, which is a chemical cauterization versus the electrical cauterization. This is also very easy and quick to do. So again, using an endoscope, we'll place it in the nose. And you can see here in the very front, we still have some areas around that original cauterization point that is still prominent with some very active vessels, which is probably contributing to your bleed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll this silver nitrate process around that area. We're gonna flatten it out so that it seals those vessels. Again, she's not feeling a thing. This is very easy and simple to do. What's nice about this technique is that this can also be done at bedside if you're in the emergency room and you don't have access to a lot of things that we use in the office. Once all the cauterization's done, the last thing we do is we apply a little bit of bacitracin antibiotic ointment, and we just apply it right on the inside of the nose, exactly where the cauterization was done, and then we'll have her do that two or three times a day for the next week as that area heals. That's it, that's office cauterization for recurrent epistaxis or nosebleeds.